So hello guys, welcome back. Buti bumalik ka pa. Buti bumalik ka pa. Buti bumalik ka pa. Sakit lamang ay kalit Ang matayang tadhana Hindi na mamansin Wala na bang karapatan Napagbig So weird! <laughs> so thank you for watching again Kasi yung iba wala naman talaga magawa Kasi kailangan nila to This is my only way to teach my lesson because of this ECQ but we can't do anything about it we have to comply and follow the rules so by the way let's go directly today's lesson is about addition, addition and, subtraction and subtraction of fraction. fraction but you have to learn first another type of fraction because the rules of these operations depends on another type of fraction aside from proper improper and mixed fraction. we could categorize fractions from another type and to know what is that, let's watch this video. So as I've mentioned in this video, you get to know another type of fraction. So let's start. So we have two types of fractions. The first one is a similar fraction and the second one is a dissimilar fractions. Okay, but how do we know whether fractions are similar or dissimilar? By simply looking at their denominators. If they have the same denominator, therefore it's similar. But if it's not the same or different, they are different they have different denominators, then it's a dissimilar fraction. Now, let's have some example. For similar fractions, again, they should have the same denominator like 2 fourths and 1 fourth. Common denominator 4. 1 thirds, 2 thirds, and 5 thirds. Same denominator of 3. And 1 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, and 2 eighths all have the same denominator of 8. That's why they are considered similar fractions. How about for dissimilar fractions? Example, 2 thirds and 1 fourth. I believe I don't have to explain this. 1 thirds, 3 halves, and 1 fifth. Because all of them have different denominators. And the last one, 3 fifth, 1 seventh, 4 eighth, and 2 eighths are considered different denominators even though 4 eighths and 2 eighths are the same. Since it is combined with other fractions like 1 seventh and 3 fifth, it is now considered the similar fraction. So why do we have to know whether the fractions are similar or dissimilar? Because in adding and subtracting fraction, you must make sure that your fractions are similar fractions before you could add or subtract them. So another thing that you will learn in this video is on how to add similar fractions. So now again, how to add or subtract similar fractions. So here are the steps on how to do that. First, Simply add, first step is to simply add the numerator and copy the same denominator. And second step is to simply simplify the fraction if possible. Now let's have some example on how to do that. For example, we have 1 fifth plus 2 fifth. So again, we just have to add the numerator which is 1 plus 2, which is 3, and copy the same denominator which is 5. Therefore, the sum would be as simple as 3 over 5. So how about 2 over 7 plus 9 over 7? Again, we just have to add the numerator, which is 2, plus 9, which is equal to 11, and copy the same denominator, which is 7. Therefore, our final answer would be 11 over 7. Next question is, is it simplified? Yes, is it, it is now in simplest form. As I mentioned a while ago, the rule is the same for subtraction. So now, let's have our last example in subtraction. For example, you have 4 over 9 minus 1 over 9. Since the operation is now subtraction, the same rule. Subtract the numerator, which is 4 minus 1. 
and it will give us 3. And still, copy the same denominator, which is 9. Therefore, the difference is 3 over 9. But, can we still simplify 3 over 9? Yes, because both 3 and 9 are still divisible by 3. So, after dividing them by 3, we will get 1 over 3 as our final answer. So hello guys, that's all for now. So I hope you could easily do addition or subtraction of similar fractions because I believe that's very easy. Okay, just either subtract the numerator, then copy the same denominator. Simple as those two steps. Okay, so please watch out for another video about fractions and uh, related videos that will help you uh, that help you do solving fractions. Okay, imagine I'm not because I'm not but it's okay. It's for you guys. So please. <laughs> That's all for now. Have a blessed day always. And goodbye. See you on my next one. Out.